So you're new to running, for what shoe are you going to buy? What is up everybody and my name is Chris Ford from Fordy Runs and in this video like I said at the start I'm going to be giving you three options, three shoes to consider if you're looking to get a new pair of running shoes because you're new to running. I've got a little bit for everybody here but before you do anything I need you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification before we jump to the next part of the video. Okay, right, so I find this a lot. Now, just if you didn't know, I'm a running coach, athletics coach, so I coach a lot of new runners. Um, the, after a couple of weeks, the first thing they asked me is about running shoes, uh, and I thought it'd be cool to do a video to give you sort of three options, um, because it's so confusing. There's so many different sorts of running shoes out there now. You've got carbon plates, and you've got uh, rocker shoes, and all, and max stack, and all this sort of stuff, right? So I thought I'd give you th sort of three options um, that as a new runner, will look after you and do everything that you need to do when you're out there running. Now we review a lot of shoes on this channel, we're very lucky to review a lot of shoes on this channel. Um, and I've picked sort of three shoes that I think, yeah, will, will offer something to everybody I hope. Um, and obviously it's a little bit different, uh, I'm a man, funnily enough you may not uh, realise that, but I am a man, so it's a little bit different um, to give an opinion on this for you ladies. But uh, hopefully some of the shoes I do talk about, um, they do cross over into your world. I know some of the shoes are set up a little bit differently, which is good. Um, but yeah, it might, um, some of the shoes might be worth considering as well for you. Right, so the first shoe we're going to talk about is something from Brooks. Okay, so Brooks running shoes. If you go into a um, running store, your chances are over here in the UK for sure you're going to come out with a pair of Brooks. Um, that's not a bad thing, but that's just one of those things they tend to stick you in a pair of Brooks. And one of their most popular shoes is this, the Brooks Ghost. Now this is their latest shoe, this is the Ghost 15, um, and this will do you just fine. Uh, it's probably at the um, end of the spectrum in terms of being boring, but there's nothing wrong with being boring. Because what this shoe does, it offers you an incredible outsole, so you're going to get plenty of grip on the shoe. Just so again, if you don't know, we've got outsole, midsole and upper, okay? Um, but the outsole on this thing is phenomenal in terms of grip. Um, it really will grip whatever service you're running, obviously not, as long as it's not trails, but you know what, you could probably get away with some of this on light trails. Um, I live here in Broxbourne and up and down the rivers on the gravelly towpaths, this shoe is, is very good. Uh, with the outsole we've got a nice um, light-ish feeling uh, midsole, uh, it just feels competent I would say underfoot this thing is not going to light you up it's not going to make you feel awesome but it will do some of those um, lighter miles that you may be doing as you set out uh, into your running journey uh, the other thing to consider here is the comfort level this is extremely comfortable around the heel area there's plenty of foam in there it will give you that really uh, soft cushion feeling as you step into the shoe it fits true to size what does that mean it means it you know if you're a, a uk nine and a half it will fit like a uk nine and a half which is great news the shoe's not overly heavy i think from memory it's about 300 grams which is about right for a daily trainer and a daily trainer is a shoe that can do most of the mileage that you need to do the things that you'll be doing while you're out there running so uh, this is a shoe i think it's not exciting it's not sexy it's not going to make you feel awesome but what the Ghost 15 offers you is a very competent daily trainer if you're starting out in your running journey. Okay, the next shoe I want to talk about is this. This is the Asics Glide Ride 3. Now, this is a shoe that I wanted to pull in for this because if you're a bigger runner, um, this shoe is going to be absolutely perfect because it's got an extremely good wide base uh, and, a, and an overall steady, sturdy platform that can take that mileage. We've got two layers of foam on this shoe. We've got a quite a firm flight foam midsole and then what we've got a flight foam blast plus. It's like a softer foam on the top level. So it just compresses that little bit without being too firm. I mentioned it before about being rockered. Uh, what we've got here is a shoe that will help you roll through your transition. So it will, instead of just landing here and bouncing straight back up, it will try and promote that heel to toe transition. We've got guide tail technology, which is trying to reduce some of that ankle movement and flexion, so um, reduces some of that wasted energy. Uh, the overall fit of the shoe, again, is true to size. It's about, again, 300 grams, so a little bit less than that um, in terms of weight, so the weight, again, is perfect. The outsole's great. Uh, it's not as good as the Brooks, but it does a perfect job. These things have done um, a marathon training block, and there's still loads of tread 
on the shoe. I use these shoes to do my longer miles in there, so like your 20 mile runs. But this is a great shoe, people, especially if you're slightly bigger and you want something that's sturdy and, and will give you the uh, stability underfoot. It's not a stability shoe, but it will give you a really good framework for which you can work um, into your running. So yeah, the Glidewise 3 for me is the best um, sort of shoe if, you, if you're that sort of slightly bigger runner, um, someone who needs a little bit more of a stable platform underfoot, but also some help in getting that heel to toe transition. Now the final shoe I want you to look at is the Asics Nova Blast 3. Um, this is the normal version. There's a TR version, which is a trail version, which has got a better outsole. The outsole is not, this thing is not great. I don't know when you're watching this. So if you're just, it's a normal summer's day, spring day, you'll be just fine. But if it's horrible winter time, then maybe look at the TR. But this shoe is one of the best daily shoes you can buy. Um, it's really gonna make you feel awesome. It'll make you feel fast. And it will just, yeah, it'll just bounce you along as you're out there on your runs. You're gonna feel great. We've got Flight Foam Blast plus midsole. So it's a really springy, compressive uh, midsole that just, yeah, just feels really peppy when you're out there. We've got a great jacquard mesh upper. So it's nice, light and breathable. Um, Fits true to size as well. Uh, it can be a little bit unstable if you've got major pronation issues that you're sort of collapsing. So just be careful. If you do really collapse in, then stay away from this. Go for the Glide Ride 3 uh, or get a stability shoe. But if you're not and you are a, a neutral sh uh, neutral runner, then this shoe is really, really one of the best out there you can buy. So if you are yeah new to running and you want a shoe that makes you feel awesome, gives you that pep, makes you, you know, just really crack along with some of your runs and it makes them enjoyable then this shoe the nova blast 3 is the one to go for so there are three shoes that i think if you're new to running you need to check out i would recommend as a caveat to all of this to go and get your gait analyzed it's really important to know where you are um, if you're going to take that next step and buy a pair, a pair of specific running shoes really recommend getting your gait analyzed and then you'll find if you're a neutral runner those three shoes you know you can pick from one of them and and maybe your if you need a stability shoe look at the Saucony Tempers it's a great shoe uh, or the Guide 15 from Saucony in terms of stability uh, but yeah they're, they're three very very good shoes I've just gave you there so I expect out of those three one of those will do you just fine but let me know in the comments which one you went for how you've got on with it and all that kind of stuff and don't forget as i said to subscribe to this youtube channel join our facebook running community if you are new to running the 40 months facebook community you'll find the links in the description but that's it for me guys good luck with your running and i'll catch you later